Hi there, this is uh, Julian Elliott and this is going to be the second instalment of my vlog. It's the what's in my camera bag. They have to be done. I know people uh, find them boring at times, but some people love what it is that we carry as photographers. So uh, this is my gear. It's not all of my gear as there just isn't enough time to run through everything that I have to, to that I walk around with. So speaking of walking around, I need something to carry it in. I have a Manfrotto, uh, not a Manfrotto, a Low Pro, Pro Runner 300AW bag there. So uh, if I'm going somewhere and uh, I can't carry everything, I take that little bag with me and it serves me well. I keep a spare set of leaf filter adapters in there, the wide angle adapters. I've also got uh, this Tamrac bag, which is a uh, you know, small satchel kind of size uh, camera bag. It's nice because it fits uh, a camera body plus a lens plus some little accessories as if I'm going somewhere and they say you can't carry a, uh, a backpack for security reasons, that kind of stuff. That little bag cost me about 20 pounds, I think it was, 20 or 30 pounds. It serves me well um, and it's very useful. So that's uh, another bag that I carry from time to time. And then uh, last but not least, I have my main camera bag which is a low pro vertex 200 aw uh, aw being all weather with the with the, the cover in the in the back of it so um, this camera bag has got loads of room as you can see and that serves me very well um, for when i'm going on my trips abroad so if i'm going as i frequently do from france to italy or france to the united kingdom wherever um, i know that that bag i can get it underneath um, the plane seat in front of me it fits nice and I've never had a problem going on a plane with that bag so speaking of cameras and why most people love these videos this is my camera gear so starting off my main camera and one of my main lenses I use I've got a Canon 5D Mark II it's quite old now it's probably got about 300,000 300, uh, shutter count on it through all the time lapse that I do um, but it's still touch wood, serves me well and is going strong. Uh, and as I said, there's the Canon 24mm TSE tilt shift lens. It is the Mark II, very nice, very sharp. Love the lens, uh, it serves me very well for what I do in cityscape and landscape. Next up, I've got the, the Canon 17-40mm to 40 millimeter L lens. Um, I know some, some people don't like this and they spend more money and get the 1635. Um, for me, from what I do, it's, uh, it's fine doing um, cityscape, landscape stuff. Um, also interiors, I like it for doing cathedral choirs. If I'm looking up at the choir and you get those nice gothic choirs with uh, all the window, all the stained glass windows and stuff, um, that lens is great for that. Uh, next up, we've got the old Canon 28 to 70 mil lens this is another l it's from about 1990 and uh, this particular lens um, you know, discontinued now in favor of the 24 to 70 um, but it's going strong it serves me well um, good for stuff general walk around stuff portraits um, as it's nice f 2.8 aperture on it so very nice lens next up i've got the canon 70 to 200 mil l uh, this is the non-stabilizing version of the f4 I don't really need the image stabilization. Um, I wouldn't mind it, but I don't really need it as the majority of the work I do is mounted on a tripod. And so image stabilization is then useless. Next up is my Canon uh, 1.4 extender. Uh, this is a recent acquisition back in May 2016 for me. I bought it um, just to have a little bit more reach on my 70 to 200. But also, um, the other reason that I bought it is it unofficially works with a Canon 24mm tilt shift lens, which then makes my 24mm into a 1 into a 35 tilt shift lens. So very, uh, very nice uh, little uh, accessory that that I got in my bag. Uh, batteries. So I've got uh, typical Canon batteries for my camera. I have a Duracell knockoff uh, battery that works in the Canon. 5D and also, sorry, I've got a 6D here, um, but I rarely use that Duracell as a last minute backup. The reason is because it seems to just lose its charge and the Canon keeps their charge very nicely. Thank you very much. 
So as I said, I got a Canon 60 here, and this was bought last year when I was doing a commission for uh, a company, and they required me to do time lapse and stills at the same time. Of course, doing that with one camera is nigh on impossible. Um, so I had a friend at some point, but um, at some point I was working on my own and I needed to get another body. Not ideal, but it is what I had to do. And uh, But thankfully there was enough to be able to pay for that. Uh, moving on to uh, filtration. So like a lot of landscape, semiscape photographers, or mostly landscape, I guess, um, I use leaf filters. So I've got my adapter rings. They are 77, 67, uh, 77, 67, and the 82 for the 24 mil tilt shift. I've got the, the filter holders. So I've got two filter holder there with a 105 uh, polarizer ring on there, or filter ring, any filter you want to put on there, like an ND. But I use it for a, P, a polarizer, which is a helio pan that I've got in front of me here. This is a 105 mil helio pan polarizer. I've also got a three stop, uh, a three, it's not three stop, sorry, a three, um, three uh, filter holder there. So I can put three ND grads or two ND grads and one ND filter if I so wish in there. But sometimes I come across lights and if I've only got one camera, my 5D Mark II, um, that if there's just too much light in the sky that I need to balance, then three, uh, three holder three filter holder is uh, very useful for me. Uh, speaking of things such as time lapse and stuff, um, I've got two intervalometers here. So these are the cheap Chinese ones that you get off Amazon. Uh, I'm very grateful that China produces these as much as they do because at 20 euros or so, or about 20 pounds, uh, they serve me well. So I have those. Of course, I do have a Canon uh, uh, remote switch that I've got there. You can see how much I use my gear as it's practically dead. Uh, a flash, this is the Canon something or other. It's the 430EX Mark II. Um, if I'm doing uh, stuff with my kids, I tend to use that. It's very rarely used though. Next up, uh, of course, memory cards. You can use oodles of memory cards here that I got to use. Uh, it's just, just too many. But well, it seems like there's too many, but because I do time lapse and it tends to eat memory cards, um, I've got quite a few. So I tend to swip, slick, uh, switch between uh, 16 gig for just normal sort of daytime stuff where it's uh, about 360 images, 374 photos, something like that. No, 384, sorry, for 16 seconds at 24 frames a second. Um, or I've got 32 if I'm doing Holy Grail time lapse. So that's doing um, day to night where I need a lot more photos in 32 gig or uh, for the 6D, I've got uh, 64 gig SD cards. Um, and speaking of time lapse, I've got this lovely little device. So I went through a number of different options and thinking very hard how I control my camera to do uh, time lapse, holy grail time lapse. This is the promote control. This little device is gold for me. It means that I can do day to night time lapse without touching my camera. At the moment, I'm using it just to change the shutter speed and uh, the ISO, uh, but it does do bulb ramping as well. So if you put your camera on bulb, you can uh, take the shutter speed from 1 30th of a second to however many seconds you wish. It also does quite a few other things as well, like uh, depth of field calculator and uh, does follow focus as well, I believe. HDR, it will override your camera and do however many HDR images you wish, up to about nine, something like that. And a couple of, a couple of other nifty little things. I love it, um, and it uses two AA batteries, so amazing little thing. And then finally, I have my, uh, not quite finally, I have my Manfrotto tripod, which has served me now for, uh, must be going on about eight years now, this. So thanks Manfrotto for building that on uh, the Manfrotto 410 geared head. And then last but not least, one of the newest acquisitions is, this is a Kessler second shooter time-lapse head. So this does left to right panning and up and down. And I can set it for however, however many frames I wish and it will pan the, the camera as I dictate it to. So uh, lovely little device that that uh, comes in handy. It's got its own hard case down on the floor and uh, I'm lucky enough that I travel frequently enough 
with uh, Air France that I've got um, more luggage allowance so I can camera I can carry all of this camera gear plus uh, my second shooter stuff uh, to boot. Now the last final thing I'm going to say is there is nothing in here is product placed. All of this is my own gear. It's what I use on a regular basis. Nobody has asked me to promote anything. It's what I use. It's what I've bought for myself for my own money. And that is that. So have a good day and uh, hope to see you next time. But next time, somewhere out in the field.